Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Music Scrap, the Musical Scrapper. I have just hit record. And if you're watching this on YouTube or you stream on recording, this is being recorded live on Ustream.tv slash channel slash, mu slash Music Scrap, without the A, M-U-S-I-C-S-C-R-P. I stream live Mondays at 4 Eastern Time. And sometimes on Saturdays, depending on what's going on. And so today, last week, I had a couple people who asked for me to show how I created my sister's um, album here, a scrapbook album. So I'm going to make another one. I'm going to make it slightly different for my use, but I will show you how to make this page, as well as the page style I'm going to make for myself. If I don't take a nap, yeah. Hey, Twinster Lady, True North, Twinster Jan. <laughs> Linda's fingers are all mixed up today. She's taking my turn. Oh, Eileen, I mean, duh. Let me make Eileen mod while I'm at it here. All right, there we go. All right, so, and um, so I got my uh, envelopes added in, and so everything is ready and set for her photos. She goes this week, weekend, no, uh, yeah, Saturday, 15th, I think. They head down to Orlando for a couple of days, uh, staying over at a friend's that they met on previous cruises. And then they're heading out on their, I think it's an 11 day cruise or whatever. So, <laughs> anyway, so um, last week I added some um, matte medium to the cover to help protect it and it all wrinkled on me because I had used tape instead of glue stick on the cover so of course, anywhere where there wasn't tape, in between all the tape lines, the the uh, paper poofed up and wrinkled. But um, anyway, so it it did dry fairly. It's still a little bit wrinkly, but it's not too bad. I will leave it for now before I get it to her. I won't be able to give it to her till Easter, so it'll probably take her that long to get her photos printed anyway. So anyway. So I'm going to make a version for myself that has pocket pages instead of um, pages with flips on it so that I can use it to keep cards and tag gifts that I've got. So that's what I'm going to do with mine. Yay, Jan says. Anyway, yep, pocket pages. So I'm going to use as my cover up this industrial chic line by DCWV. Love this, but it is not any good for making the actual pages because it will crack severely because it is a layered cardstock, but it is very yummy. So that's what I'm going to use. And to build the pages, I am going to use Hold on, just let me put this where I can reach it. There we go. I am going to use black 12 by 12 cardstock by, um, should turn it over, Michaels. So it's 65 pound. So it's not really heavy stuff. Yes, I am recording, Jan. I am. Hi, Paula. Nice to see you. Hi, Pam. I am recording. Yes, ma'am. And for my spine, I thought I would use this burlap that I got because instead of using paper so the paper won't crack it'll be a little um, stronger so that's going to be the one of course I use graphics medium weight chipboard uh, for the base of the covers so let's do that first let's do the cover now So, for the cover, I'm 
need my chipboard. Here it is. I don't know why I have two there. Oh, okay, Jan. No problem, I know. Doctors, silly doctors, silly doctors. <laughs> Eileen. Hey, Jana, nice to see you. <coughs> Excuse me, heavens to Betsy. I think it's time for me to vacuum again. Because <coughs> the cat fur is getting to me. I mean, look at my shirt. My lord, I've got more fur on me than the cat my cats do. We do too have digi artists. Eileen is a digi artist, Paula. Sheesh. Silly. Silly girl. All right. So I'm going to make my pages so that they fold in half of the six inches. And I want my um, binding, my cover to go a little over the six inches. So. Hmm. Or do I? No, actually, no, I don't. It's going to be six inches exactly because I have to do the half inch. Yeah. So six inches will work. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, Paula. See, I'm so tired. I can't even. I can't read sarcasm. Oh, duh. Yeah. I, I, no, I should have. I should have figured that's what you meant, uh, Paula. But uh, just sleepy head me didn't figure it out. Didn't have my nap. Oh, I, I napped for maybe like 10 minutes. Like, whoa. And then I figured. All right. And then for the length, um, I guess I'll, I'll make it eight. Okay, so eight. So that means I can take out four inches. Sorry, I have to think. Ugh, I'm half asleep. Better not cut something wrong today. Hey, Dee Dee. Nice to see you. Yeah, Eileen, you could do a page with all the streamers. So that's six by four. Should have taken the four inch off, then I'd have a 12 by four piece left. Duh, Jean. Uh, oh well. Usually I think that far ahead for some whatever reason I didn't think that far ahead today. So I've got two six by four left. That'll do for die cuts or something. And then for my binding. I'm going to make it the same size as I made my sister's because it worked and I think it's two and a half, but I better measure. Yeah, two and a half. <clears throat> Whoops, wrong thing. <laughs> Just gonna put my ruler back instead of the book. Oh gosh, darn it. Dropped it. Hey, Colleen. Okay, so two and a half inches by eight. So two and a half inches. Or so. That worked perfectly for eight pages. So I went and paid a surprise visit to my mom on Wednesday. My cousin and I went down and she was surprised. We called her when we got to Toro, which is 45 minutes from home. 
didn't want to wake her up any earlier than we had to because she doesn't sleep well at night, so she sleeps late. Trying to convince her to, you know, get out of bed when she wakes up instead of staying laying in bed. But anyway, you can only tell them so much, you know. I just need to fix this because it didn't trim exactly right there. Oops. Hmm. I don't know why it's doing that. Way off somehow. <clears throat> anyway, so we paid a surprise visit. Hey Penny, nice to see you. I am making a journal. Okay, well it's gonna hold my gifted tags and cards and such. So I'm gonna switch this out to my good one. So that when I go to cut my paper and such, it will be ready. Okay, so. So I think I have to decide whether I want to cover them with black and then again, or do I just want to paint the edges? And I think I've decided. <laughs> ah, it's a quick decision. I'm just going to paint the edges. So I just want to paint with a nice, I guess I'll paint with black. And cut off a piece of sponge. <coughs> yeah, Jan, the totally innocent one. Uh-huh, we all believe that too. <coughs> yep. Totally innocent. <coughs> okay. All right. Using black since my page is going to be black inside, and black goes with everything. So I'm just going to paint all the edges and I'll go in you know at least a quarter inch or whatever to uh, make sure when I cut my paper if there's any discrepancy I won't have to worry It doesn't matter about getting it on the other side or anything because it's going to get covered with paper. So, oh boy. So, yeah, Jean, you can really make a mess. Sure. As long as it's. Well, I guess I'll pick it up off there and use it, I guess. And just make sure my edges are completely covered black and they are hair ball yeah probably Jan Dee Dee's having taters instead of a salad today wow it's breaking breaking tradition my goodness Yeah, running back up the stairs, exactly. Probably take Dee Dee as long to go downstairs, get the taters out, put them in the oven, run back upstairs in the same time it would take me to get to the top of the stairs before even going downstairs. <sighs> yeah. Tell ya. Wish I was in half as good a shape as Dee Dee is. Once upon a time, I was. 
We used to walk five, six, seven mile parades playing bagpipes and flute. And I was in two different bands, the pipe band for years and years and years. Oops. Stringy. And then where is my... All right, who stole my... Oh, there it is. Never mind. Definitely hate it when chores interrupt my crafting and my art. For sure, Penny. Unfortunately, I don't let them interrupt enough. Hold on. Just need to sand my edge here a little bit. There's my... As you can see, I never use these on my fingers. <laughs> Speaking of fur balls. Oh, I don't know. This is not my... This one is not going to be... Where is my other one? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> I don't want to get it on my paint, so... I'm just... Uh, getting the edges of chipboard paper here as <clears throat> smooth so it went a little wonky so I'm just sand on the edges hug okay. now not only do I have fur over me yeah, Paulo. <clears throat> this probably won't show through at all anyway, but I will do it just in case. So, new episode of Motive started, which is a Canadian police drama. It's in its third season. Very different um, setup of the crime drama because in the very first scene of the show, they show you who gets killed and they show you who killed them. And so then as the show progresses, they show you the motive for the killing, thus the name of the show. So as the police come up with all the different uh, pieces of evidence, it comes up with the motive. So it's interesting because you already know who done it when the show begins. What am I talking about? I'm talking about a TV show, Eileen. Jeesh, don't you ever listen to me? Obviously not. <sighs> Welcome back, Dee Dee. You might want to check back in chat. Eileen was talking about you. Hi, Dixie. <laughs> yeah, Pam, exactly. I am. And then starring on the next series, on the next episode of, of, oh gosh, next episode of Motive, scene one, will show this poor pink flamingo as the victim. And then Eileen, the enabler elf, E.T. as the killer. Please watch as the story unfolds. <clears throat> hey, Dar. Nice to see you. Just starting, Dar. All I did was cut and paint chipboard. All right. Now. So, 
let's get my heat gun out make sure this all dries before I try taping paper on because yeah it won't stick if papers if it's wet if it's wet Okay. Cheap artist paint from Dollarama, so it dries fairly quickly. That can go away. All this organizing that I was going to do on my March break. Do you think I did anything? No, nope, not a thing. Nothing. Of course, I was stiff for the last couple of days after my sort of, well, it wasn't really a fall. Okay, so. Oh, I should have painted this whole thing. Because... It's going to show through. All right, excuse me. I have more paint left anyway. I'm going to get my art, my gun out again. Heat gun. I have to paint this whole thing because it's going to show through the burlap. Even though I'm going to double up the burlap, I think. But I'm pretty sure it still might show through in places, so I best totally covered in black paint. There. Well, Dee Dee, it wasn't really quite a fall. I was coming down the steps at my mom's and holding on. It's just a wooden railing and there's a top railing and a mid, middle railing, but my dad built it like years ago. <clears throat> well, obviously years ago because he's been dead for 15 years, so... <laughs> Yeah, anyway, I was, I had just got my two feet on one step. I was about halfway down. Next thing I knew, the railing just gave way and went down. And I just, it was just kind of a forced sit down onto the step. Luckily, I wasn't in mid-step, like with one foot in the air, because that might have been more trouble if I was like off balance. I had both feet on the step at the time, so I just kind of sat down. The back of one of my legs hit the front edge of one step, and I got a bruised butt. But anyway, other than that, no, I'm just gabbing Eileen about a show I watched this afternoon. For goodness sakes. Oh. Yes, uh, Dar, I am making a book to hold cards and tags and stuff that I get sent because I've got them all over the place here. Yeah. And of course my older sister's like, mom's going to need an explanation when she sees the railings broken. And, and she said, I'm not a good liar. <laughs> Unlike me, I guess, apparently. And, and so she said, well, I'll just tell her it broke as you were going down the stairs, but that you didn't fall down the stairs, which is not a lie. I didn't fall down the stairs. So, yeah. All right, so now I have to decide on a paper for the front cover. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Postcard. Ooh, this will be perfect. This will be perfect since it's going to hold cards and postcards from away, right? And that should do everything for one piece. We shall see as long as I don't muck it up. Okay, Penny. Oh, hi, cheeky girl. I am making a book. Hold on. 
I'm gonna grab my scissors since it fell on the floor here. Just a moment. Okay. So last week I was showing this book, that album that I made for my sister for her photos for their cruise. And so a few people asked me to show how I made it. So I am going to do that. However, my page is going to be slightly different than her pages are. Um, and, but I'm going to show you how to make this design of page as well as my design of page. So mine are going to have pockets, my pages. Okay. Hey, Vaughn. Okay, no problem, Vaughn. All right, so first thing I need to do here is to take off this half inch at the top. All right, now. I need to make it eight inches. And I think I want this eight inches. So I'm going to cut it this way. Eight inches. Actually, not quite eight inches. Seven and three quarters. And then five and three quarters. And five and three quarters. And I think I will use my sepia ink on the edges. Find it. Archival sepia. <clears throat> yes, poor Paula. I could hear her getting worse as the show went on. Um, sorry, I was looking for my... Oh, hold on. I need to get a dauber here. <laughs> Something that will work for my sepia. It's permanent anyway, so it's not going to be really make a deal. Once it dries, it won't hurt anything. Oh, there we go. That's the sepia. I really should label them and make my life easier. It's archival, so I hope so. As long as it inks my white edges, that's all I really care about, Eileen. As long as it gets my white edges. If it doesn't stick on the glossy part, so be it. It'll stick on the white part. Which is what I'm mostly concerned about, so... And I'll just kind of give it a little blow with the heat gun to make sure it, and if it doesn't dry, I will. Oh, Pam, yeah, I wouldn't doubt if you need them replaced. I had to get mine, all of mine replaced, and they were all like 20, 30, 30 plus years old, so yeah.
Yeah, they'll take them out and replace them with the white ones. And then they, you won't get a stupid nerve feeling every time you touch your tooth with a fork. Oh, I used to hate that with the silver fillings. Yeesh. Dee Dee, is that you tweeting me? I actually didn't even tweet that I came on, but I assume Eileen and a couple of others did, so we should be all right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Paula. It is archival dye ink, so it should stick. May need a little heat gun, but... Just gonna give it a short blast. Thanks, Dar. It's DCWV's Industrial Chic. And, of course, I love DCWV. You can't fold and make pages with it, but uh, it does make a nice covering. So, since it is a cover, I will use my score tape. Yep, it's not rubbing off. Yeah. So, okay, and I won't need to cover this to protect it, but what I always do on the inside, but I didn't, of course, I didn't have my glue stick with me when I did my sister's cover. Forgot to bring it to the crop on a Friday night. So I just use tape, but I always do glue stick. Oh, darn it. I should have taken the sticky stuff off first. Make sure I had enough time before the glue stick dried. Okay, so, it's funny, I was watching Dee Dee this, Dee Dee this morning and I must have had a pretty big leg because she was talking about a book and then next thing I know she was gone. <laughs> I was like, oh, I must have had a leg there. The burlap's going to come over this, on this side anyway, so... I'm not putting the inside on yet because I have to. That's the bone folder. Oh, hello. Bone folder, where are you? There it is. You can use a bone folder or a brayer. This down nice and smooth here. Hmm. Left it too long at the top. I'm not sure why I did that, but oh well. Oh well. I don't, well, if it was a nap leg, <laughs> Dee Dee, it was a pretty short one. I don't know. Maybe I did nod off for a second. Uh, it's like, okay, she's gone. Of course, that probably does explain it. Oh, I rubbed that too much. Now the shiny's all gone off. That's okay. All right, so that's the back. Da -da 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 -da. No, that's going to be that's going to be the front, not the back. This is going to be the back. Hmm. <sighs> well, it was 
you know, my first day back to work today, and I had to sit. <laughs> grade sixes did recorder tests, which is always interesting. Of course, one class did very well. The other class did okay, did as expected. Because report cards have to be done by next Thursday, so it's going to be a busy week. Busy week. My plan is to have them done by Friday, because I don't want them rolling over my head on the weekend. So, that is the plan. Oh, really, Jan? Oh, okay. Okay, Janet, I mean. Okay, good. Good, good. See, I wasn't the only one. See, I didn't fall asleep. Hey, Sandy. Nice to see you. I am working on a book. A couple people last week asked me to show how I made my album for my sister. So I decided I would make one for my gifted cards and tags and such. Oh, Dee Dee got happy ale. Ha! <laughs> okay. So the insides we can't do yet until I do the bind, until I do the insert. Okay, so let's put this cover together. Now I'm going to use some burlap. I just thought it'd be fun to use burlap. No, because it's what people send to me, Eileen. <laughs> Not what I'm supposed to be sending out. Yours and Linda's envelopes are still sitting here. But I'm going to bring them with me because I can't, I have to wait, get them weighed. So I can't just send them in the mail, in the mailbox here at my apartment building unit. I have to stop at the pharmacy. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. Will this cut on my trimmer? Well, let's just see. <laughs> let's try it. It probably won't. Probably fray when I try. Hey, Jeannie. And I'm probably, yeah, I, well, that didn't work. Uh, don't tell me I'm going to have to cut with actual scissors. Oh, dear, I never thought of that. <sighs> At least it marked. Oh, I should be able to, I should be able to follow that. It marked. Of course, I can't cut straight to cut my lip save my life but that's beside the point i'm just going to try to follow down in between two lines here see if i can do it <laughs> that's why i'm not in camera because i have to have it right up to my nose so i can see what i'm doing here <laughs> yeah, gr oh, growling. <laughs> no, it's not sticky back can't uh, burlap. It's just burlap. I'm just going to use, I'm going to use quick dry. <clears throat> or actually, it's not quick, quick dry. It's Aileen's tacky glue. <clears throat> oh, actually, I can probably use... No, it'll show up more. I'm probably better off using glue. <clears throat> I don't know. Okay. I almost bought a pair of Timmy's shears. 
they were like 20 bucks and I'm like, oh, I don't want to spend 20 bucks on a pair of scissors. I was trying to decide whether I need to double it or not, but I don't think I'm going to need to. It's pretty, pretty firm. So let's mark it at Yeah, four and a half, five inches. And I have to use a pen or something that I can see. So let's use white. Ha <laughs> I mean, pretty yeah. I'm gonna cut it at five first, and if that ends up being too much, then I can trim it later. I'm just going to go right down that. All right, so I'm just going to go right down that spot where that five inch mark is. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Dee Dee. Uh, all right. So I'm just going to go right down this. Now, I think I need to double it. So let's see. So I'm going to start by gluing this in the middle like that. No, not quite like that. More like that. So Eileen will score tape hold this or should I glue it? <clears throat> hey Carol, Sunset Carol. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Matte medium will work, I think, right? Matte medium work on the edges? It should. Uh, already are. I'm hoping that medium will work. Yay, hey, Vaughn, welcome back. So I don't think I have no fray. I saw a bottle one day and I was going to buy it and then I didn't. Yes, I should have. Oh, Vaughn, sorry to hear that. Oh, 
Oh, I'll do this first and then I'll trim off the braid edges. Remember if I did this other long side, you know what I think I did. I'm not sure if I put enough on, so I'm just gonna add a little more here in the spots where I can't see it. Yeah, let's make sure the other side is coated. I tried to get it on both sides, but Yay, Paula! Woohoo! Simon says stamp order shipped. I was going to order stuff from them and then I ended up ordering it at Blue Moon, stuff at Blue Moon because the one thing I really wanted was at Blue Moon, so the Color Lab was at Blue Moon Scrapbooking, so. All right, so I'm going to heat this. Let that dry. While I let that dry, I will work on the inside binding. All right. And let's wipe that up with a baby wipe before I go put my cardstock on it. Don't want to glue it to the table. Mm -hmm. I've got a couple more orders coming. My Keurig order arrived today while I was at work, so yay. I've got some new flavored Keurig, some more pumpkin, pumpkin spice Keurig, and where's my, hold on, get my uh, paper towel here to dry that down. All right. I'm ignoring you, talking to the telephone, not to you guys, and it's not important because they're hanging up, so there you go. All right, so, let's get this open. I need this to be cut at just under eight inches because I don't want it there no what am I doing here uh, just under eight inches eight and seven eighths seven and seven eighths oh that's oh never mind <laughs> Glad I found my mistake. Seven and seven eighths. And this I used for the flaps. So when I, I'll show you how. Oh, 
Right. Okay. First, I'm going to show. Um, it's the binding. Binding. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I've got to remember what I'm doing. I need to. Hold on. I need my book. I need my book here. Okay. <clears throat> my plan book. And pet. Okay, so for I'm doing the spine right now, actually, but I want to do the pages before I forget. So it's going to be 12 for the version I did for my sister. It'll be 12 by 8. And I did a half inch here. Okay. And I did. So the whole thing is 12. So this is half an inch. So I score at half inch. And then, so this is five and five eighths. Oh, stupid fly buzzing around. He's almost dead still. And then this is five and five eighths. Obviously not drawn to scale. All right, so I score at one half. Then I score at <coughs> five and five eighths. And four eighths, nine eighths, six and an eighth. And six and three eighths. All right, so 12, sorry, I'm not looking at chat at the moment. So the paper is 12 by eight, score at one half, at six and an eighth, six and three eighths. All right, so that's for the version my sister's book had. For my version, Pages are going to be ten and a half long. Oh, sorry, yeah, I'm gonna make this by eight. So it's twelve inches still, and it's going to be ten and a half. Scored here at two and a half, half inch. And then the same, the same scores here. Okay, so the same scores. Oh no. Yeah, and then that'll make the other, okay, so that'll work. That will work. Same score lines. Okay, sorry, just had to, uh, so it'll be 12 by 10 and a half, and then score at one half by six and an eighth and six and three eighths and then score at 
two and a half. Okay. Alrighty. So that's my pages ready. For the binding part. <clears throat> For the binding card, I never measure ahead because what I did when I realized, in order to know that I needed a two and a half inch spine, what I did, hi Sharon, nice to see you. Oh yes, I have her DVD and I downloaded the digital version of oh, Silly Me. Not silly me, but I mean, don't know why I did that. Couldn't wait for the DVD to come in, so I ordered the digital version. Okay, so now I always leave an inch and a half, an inch and a half to go on to the front cover. Okay, inch and a half. All right, so then. I leave a quarter inch. So this is a variation on Kathy Orta's hidden spine. It's basically a accordion binding with a gusset is what it is. Um, I do it slightly differently because I leave a quarter inch on either side, either end of my um, binding, especially when I'm making a book like this. That is going to have lots of stuff in it, so it doesn't get too puffy. Okay. All right. So, so at inch scored at inch and a half. All right. This is twelve inches long. It's seven and seven eighths inches. And then, so score one and a half, and then quarter of an inch from there. Then. Half, half inch, quarter inch. Whoa, that went really crooked because my paper moved. Oops, quarter inch. Okay, half, half, quarter. I'm sorry, I have to move it up. It's especially hard to see on black. Half inch, half inch, quarter inch, half inch, half inch, quarter inch. So one, two, three, four. Half inch, half inch. Quarter inch, half inch, half inch, quarter inch, half inch, half inch, quarter inch. Okay. So excuse me, one, two, three, four, six, seven. Oh, I only did an inch, I guess, on my, gives me seven pages. So I just take however many pages it gives me. Uh-oh. Ah, ah, that's funny. That's funny, Paula. Really good one. All right, so I always fold to make it easier for me to see where my two half inch sections are. I always fold on the half inch sections so I know where to put my, and that's the valley, so the valley folds up to make a nicer fold. I always this is just, you don't have to do this. This is just for me, for my eyes. As you know, I have to find ways to do things that work, make things easier for me with my eyesight. So adapt and figure things out is my 
policy. So now, when I go to put my tape on, I know exactly that I need to put just one stripe of tape at each fold. One strip of tape at each fold. Yeah, I see that, Eileen. He. <laughs> <laughs> All puns intended, I am sure. Okay, on this, I'm just going to use a credit card too. I don't usually bother about this, but on the binding, I like it to go right to the edge. So I am going to, now that's a pretty flimsy credit card. As a Swiss Chalet gift card. <laughs> Paula. Oh dear. Poor Paula. Well, it's a good way to get rid of it, Paula. Look at it that way. pictures and I'm legally blind so you know there you go that's why I use automatic focus cameras because if I tried to focus a camera <laughs> would be very interesting indeed I would have a lot of amoebas pictures of amoebas it's what used to happen when I tried to when I would uh, in biology class when we would have to you know, one of the first things we learned in biology was how to focus a microscope. Well, I used to drive my teacher, science biology teacher, crazy. Because what was uh, focused to me the best it could was not focused for anyone else. Even when it was focused, I couldn't see. I mean, I could see dots, but I couldn't see nucleus and stuff like that. But anyway. Hey, Teresa, nice to see you. Making an album here. A couple of people wanted to learn how I made my sister's album. So now what I do is I take one off at a time and I fold those two half, the half inches together. Okay. And they were already folded so it goes fairly easily so I fold the half inch score it then I fold back on the first quarter inch so I'm not scoring the second quarter inch line yet okay take off this one fold it over the half inch that's already that's why that pre-fold helps a lot. Then I fold it back. <laughs> yeah. Let's just say biology. Biology was mandatory in grade 10 or I wouldn't have taken it. But in um, grade 12 we had the option of taking biology or physics and yeah I love physics so I took physics thank goodness no more microscopes Just theorems and math and fun stuff and physics yes thanks Pam Although I'm not sure what a scapel is. Pretty sure I knew what she meant, but she said scapel. 
And she laughs at me for my typos. She's sweet. <sighs> Doesn't even know where the L goes. And that there's not two P's in scalpel. Shh. No, Paula, ATG tape will not hold. It's not strong enough. You can use glue. It's a little more waiting in between, but you can use, you know, Scotch Quick Dry if you don't have double-sided tape. Oh. Oh, Didi, hey, how did Boo and her team do? I don't think I saw a result. Uh-oh, what did I do? That's all Eileen's fault. Oh, I didn't, hold on. I didn't fold it back, that's all. Yeesh. Okay. Scared myself there for a moment. Oh, well done, well done. Well done. My goodness. Proud Grandma, of course. Free gate grandkids. Oh, I missed a... Uh, I missed a strip of uh, tape here. I'm getting bits and pieces of paint all over this <laughs> coming off my craft mat, but oh well. Yeah, as I was saying to Paula, no, ATG tape is not strong enough for this type of a binding. So you need score tape or a good double-sided tape, or you can use Scotch Quick Dry or any good tacky glue. But just with the tacky glue, it takes longer to dry. So it's a little more difficult to uh, finagle. Hey, Jerry Ann. Nice to see you. Oh, by the way, Jerry Ann, I saw your results from the Color Lab. And I remember when I saw Marion show her Color Lab, I was like, ooh, I need to get that. And then I sort of forgot about it until you did it on your stream. And I was like, ooh. So I, I've ordered them from Blue Moon. So they are on their way. Two bars. Hey, Mitz. Nice to see you. <clears throat> okay. Now I have to fold the other quarter inch side so that the pages will go back and forth both ways just as easily. So it's just a matter of taking the flap, folding it the other way, and scoring it. <laughs> They're messy. Yeah, well, you know, I'll figure out a way. I did buy a set of the little spoons, so I'll have one spoon for each color. Of course, I got the shimmering colors while I was at it. Eileen, did you actually click buy yet on yours? All right, so there's the binding. <laughs> uh it's all right. Shampoo and my craft scrubber, you'll take that off. You did, Eileen? Cool. Okay, so now the next thing is on this back side. And on the back side, you need to you need to fold these one way or the other. Every time I think I have them all killed, and then I have an orange, and 
or an apple and they come back to life. Yeah, they really are a decent price, Eileen. Uh-huh. So. This part is kind of the body of the book, so you need lots of tape. I should really use my two and a half inch tape. If only I knew where it was. Oh, there it is. Found it. I can reach it. Ooh, don't know if I even have enough left to do this. I might just I need to order more score tape. Yes, I do have a lot of white cabinets. Why? I've got white drawers. I've got white drawers right there for my paints. And a couple of white little cabinets in my walls are ivory. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I never thought of that, Sharon. Never thought of it. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Well. <sighs> I mean, I'm going to have to paint them all green or something? Hmm. This is all laying down flat, so... I want it all to... I could have used just like two pieces of that if I thought ahead of time, but I didn't. So, all right. So that's that. Then I have to use my other tape inside of these. Um, okay, I'm not going to put the tape on those yet because I've got to uh, figure out how my pages are going on. Now, most of the books that Kathy makes... She makes pockets so that the pocket goes on either side of the flap and totally covers the flap. But a lot of my books, I don't do that. Okay, so I'll show you. Well, my sister's book, her pages aren't pockets there. All right, so it just got attached to the back side of the flap. And then on the front side, okay, oh, no, sorry, I attached it to the front of the flap, and then the paper just came over the back. I put it, oh, I should show you a different one, because that one I covered. That, that one I had this page on beforehand, and I couldn't tear it up. So what I did was I attached it to the back of the flap here, okay, and then on here... I, atta I attach this layer of paper second and cut and pulled it all the way over the flap. Actually, Eileen, they gave me free shipping. I spent ninety. I spent ninety eight dollars, and they gave me free shipping at Blue Moon. So I don't know. It was supposed to be. I think it was supposed to be like seven ninety nine or something shipping for Canada. For seventy five dollars or over, and they didn't charge me anything. So I don't know if it was a mistake or not. So. Yeah, so anyway, I won't complain. So that's how my sisters, and actually these are going to get done the same way. Mine are going to get done the same way because I'm not, I'm having, 
pockets on the inside and then pockets here to hold things so it's gonna it's gonna be the same type of page mine is not it'll have pockets but not in the same way as Kathy's has pockets oh what happened to my uh oh uh oh, uh -oh. it glued itself to oh I'm gonna have to use my heat gun on this because it's not drying at all the matte medium okay so let's do that because I want to get this put together before I do the pages so heat guns coming out heat gun Paula oh okay Paula well maybe they didn't do that yet I've ordered from them before, but it's been a while. Don't get too excited, Sharon. The date of that is the 12th of never. Just so you know. Looks like it's gonna take a while for that to dry clear for me. So I think I'm going to, why oh, don't, no, it's drying. Yeah, so mostly stopped ordering from Blue Moon because everything I bought in the last year or so I found on Amazon and have Prime, so yeah, okay. This is a Scotch quick dye bottle, but it has it has um, Aileen's in it. Aileen's tacky. Quick grab. Sorry, Aileen's quick grab. If it's the right bottle, that is. No, I don't think this is the right one. What did I do with that? Because this one's totally clog let me see if i can unclog it otherwise i have to go it's oh i know it's probably still in my crop bag because i haven't used it since the crop i don't think oops where is my all oh, right things got moved around with the crop where's my pokey tool i have my old stampin up pokey tool here for poking glue bottles and etc. But I don't know where it is. It should be here. Oh, never mind. There's the one I need. Mm. Okay. In my spinny tool. So this is Scotch Quick Dry, but it has Aileen's Tacky. Quick Grab, I should say, in it. Jen. Mm. 
and definitely want to spread this out so it's not bumpy underneath the uh, center out to the edges for your glue. Okay. Oh yeah, glue is fine, Eileen. Glue, yes. Paint, no. Paint is a totally different matter, and that's really crooked. It's already... <laughs> Oops, okay. It'll dry. It'll dry clear. It's not paint. Don't mind glue at all. <laughs> Jenna. Yeah, especially Eileen, Janet. Yeah. So we give it back to her with the flamingo deal. right off it's already rolled off my fingers sheesh we used to put glue white glue on our fingers on purpose we'd spread it out and then we let it dry and we peel it off and it would have our fingerprints in it and we'd ink our fingerprints <laughs> Sharon Guys are so funny. I forgot to laugh. Arr, arr, arr. All right, keep me awake anyway. Would be bad if I fell asleep at my own stream, I think. That would not be good. All right, so I'm gonna make sure I don't get these on upside down. This is the front. This is the front. This is the back. Side right. There we go. So what we do is I make sure I leave about two, okay, about two double thickness, I should say. You want to leave a double thickness of space between your pieces because this piece and this piece has to come up. And if you want it to sit flat, it has to be double. Uh -huh, Eileen. Okay. All right, so. And I put my ruler across the bottom here so that my pages, my covers all end up straight with each other at the bottom. 
paste. There we go. I'm going to have to edge that uh, probably with my I have to use my big brush pen, I guess. One of big. <laughs> Cheer! <laughs> Bye, Dee Dee. <laughs> That's a good one, Sharon. I like that one. We must make sure that Eileen reads back and reads that, cause that's a good one. Soaps a little more into the burlap than it does paper, so I'm kind of using a little more than you might on paper because I want to make sure I get good bonding. Paula, one, two, three. I think she meant LOL, but her O must not be working. That has grabbed very nicely there. Just going to do a quick heat set. Sharon, it will be worth it. It is worth it, I'm sure. Done, Paula. All right, so now while I have it laying flat, I'm going to grab my pit marker here. <sighs> In. Ooh. Huh. I don't have a brown. Hmm. So I guess, oh, I know what I can use, though. I can use... And hmm. I'm using ink tents because that will be permanent. So let's oh no, that's a... where are my ink tents? Oh my ink tents aren't here. Where are they? Oh they're still in the bed. Never mind. That won't work. I'll just use black. <coughs> I'll use black. My black one's already on my desk. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Did my sound go all funny again? Did my sound go all ripply? Okay. I'm going to switch microphones and let's see if this works, okay? 
Okay. Is that sound any better? Is the sound any better? Hello, hello, can you hear me now? Did that change the sound? This always happens after about an hour and a half. No, it didn't change, not any better. Okay, uh, I'm going to stop recording and start again and see if that helps, okay guys? I'll be right back, because uh, I'm gonna stop the broadcast too and start my Chrome again. Okay, so I'll be right back. Hold on. <laughs> 